Hello viewers, this Dow Too Fast here. Check out this beautiful LED backlight for the TV. With a remote control, I can change to whatever color I want, and it looks amazing. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how to install this. This is our family's toy room slash game room. Let me give you a quick look. Here are some of the Lego sets. And this is the TV that I'll be installing the LED backlight. This is the LED lighting kit that I'll be installing. Remote control. Instruction manual. The roll of LED strip. Mounting clips, a couple of jumper cables to connect the LED strips together. This LED kit you see here can be installed on TVs ranging from 40 to 70 inches. So that's the diagonal measurement of the actual screen. Inside this coil are four 50 centimeter LED strips. Now the strip uses RGB 50-50 LED chips, which will allow you to change the different colors and it's very bright. You also notice there is a USB connector right here. This whole kit can be powered using any USB power or even some TV has USB input, which provides five volt power. On this side is a remote control. You can choose any color you want, and there are different modes you can select. On the left side here are the jumper cables you'll be using to interconnect the LED strips together. Now, even though this looked like one continuous strip, if you look closely right here, there's a connector, you can disconnect. So here is one 50 centimeter segment. And here's another one. Here you're looking at the back of the TV. Now this one I have here is 55 inch. Again, that's a diagonal measurement from one corner to the other corner. With this size of TV, I'll be installing one strip on both sides and then two strips along the top. If you have a smaller TV between the size of 40 to 50 inch, you can place LED strip along the four sides. One, two, three, and four. Now the installation is very simple. On the back of the LED strip, it's double side tape. So you just peel the backing and stick this onto the back of the TV. But before you do that, you'll need to use some rubbing alcohol to clean the surface where you'll be sticking the LED strip. So first I'll install the two strips at the very top, center it, now to connect this top LED strip to the one on the side, you'll be using this jumper cable along with this connector right here. Plug this connector to the end of the LED strip. And then connect this jumper cable to this connector. Now one thing to note when you connect the next segment of LED strip, you'll notice at the top here there's an arrow. You have to make sure you follow the pin out. And when you connect the next one, it matches this top pin with this top pin right here. And the way you do this is follow this pin at the top all the way down to the end of this connector. So we'll do the same thing here on the other side. So at the end of this LED strip is the LED controller. On this white cable is the infrared sensor. And this other black cable is a USB power. What I recommend is use a small piece of double-sided tape and take this facing the front of the TV 
so the LED remote control can communicate with this controller. Now with the USB power, it's recommended you have a source that will provide 5 volt at 2 amp, so you can use something like a phone charger, or if your TV has a USB output, you can use it, but make sure it can output 2 amps. Now on the back of this TV, there is a USB input port, but if you look closely, you can see it's rated at 5 volt, 500 milliamp, so we'll not have enough current to drive the LED strip. Here I'll be using this USB power adapter. If you look at the rating, it tells you outputs 5 volt at 2 amp. Now one thing I want to point out is this USB cable from the LED kit is not very long. So either you need to buy a USB extension cable or use an AC extension cord to connect this to the wall outlet. Here's a look at what the installed LED strip look like. Now before I flip the TV around, I'll test it out make sure it works. Point the remote control towards the infrared sensor, press the power button. As you can see it turns on. On the remote control you can choose red, green, blue or white. You can also select these colors. There's also a quick, slow, auto, flash and fade mode. Here's green, blue, white, orange purple, light blue. Now turn on the auto mode. Pressing the quick and slow button will change the speed. And here's flash mode. And this fade. So while testing this setup, here's something interesting I just found out. I also have a Roku box, and this is the Roku remote, and a couple of buttons will actually change the color on this backlight LED. So for example, if I press the up button, it changes to this light blue, left button is purple, down button is orange. So if you're using a Roku box, you might run into this also. And here's a look at the LED backlight. As you can see, it looks very nice. Right now it's in a fade mode, so it slowly changes color from one to another. If I want, I can set it to one specific color. For example, red, blue, blue looks pretty nice, or even white. Overall, I think this turned out really well. Best of all, this kit is very inexpensive. You can get this on Amazon for $11, which is incredible. If you want to get one, I'll include the link in the description below. Anyways, I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, remember to click on a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please click on the subscribe button to support this channel. Also click on the notification bell so you'll get notified of my new videos. Thank you and have an awesome day.